everybody. As you can tell, I'm back on Carl, back home on the water. And I wanted to say thank you for all your concern about my foot injury. For those of you who don't know, I had a um, pretty severe kite surfing accident last year in September in Los Roques in Venezuela. And I was diagnosed with a pretty heavily fractured heel bone in Curaçao. So I took a plane home to Germany and I went to a specialized hospital who was specialized in these kind of uh, foot injuries. And after 10 days, I left the hospital with 10 bolts or 10 screws and a titanium plate in my foot. And they said that the surgery went really well, but they also warned me that this kind of injury is pretty bad and it can take up to one and a half to two years to fully recover. And some people don't ever. But anyways, I was ordered to stay in bed for three months. So... I went home to my parents' place and they literally set up a camp for me in their dining room. So I was camping in my parents' dining room and my mom was taking beautiful care of me. And I was supposed to rest for three months. Uh, I wasn't really supposed to go around much, but obviously I took kind of like little tiny adventures here and there in a wheelchair and try to hobble about. But I think mostly I managed to follow doctor's orders pretty well. After about eight weeks in bed, uh, the cast came off, and instead of the cast, I got this special shoe, it's called an orthosis, I believe, and basically your heel is just hanging in the air without any pressure, and then step after step, you put little um, inlays into it, so the pressure slowly builds up onto the bone, and after three months, I say the bone is pretty much healed, but the problem is because you've been lying in bed for such a long time, you basically have to learn how to walk again because all the muscles are gone and all the ligaments are literally glued together. The leg is like totally stiff. So I had to take a lot of walks through the forest to get back to strength and walking and whatnot. And my friends and family were really beautiful and came and walked me <laughs> every day. And by Christmas, I was able to walk without the orthosis and probably like around an hour or so just by myself hobbling along. But I was supposed to do another at least three months of physiotherapy, but I got a notice from Ecuador, from Bahia Caracas, from the marina where Carl was sitting. Because Carl had been in the country by that time nearly a year and you're only allowed to stay there for a year, so they said I had to move the boat. I was not quite ready for boat life yet, so I decided to fly down to Ecuador and organize some crew to help me move Carl from Ecuador back to good old Panama. So I had David fly down from Seattle to come to Carl and we were buddy boating with Joanna because Maria had to move her boat out of Ecuador too and she had her dad and Nico as crew to go back up north. After a couple of boat prep jobs we left Bahia Caracas in Ecuador and we sailed up to Las Perlas in Pacific Panama and we made sure we stepped a couple of times along the beautiful coast of Pacific Colombia to give my foot a little bit of a rest but also to show our crew this beautiful stretch of earth and I didn't film going up that way because I think I felt a little bit defeating sailing back to Panama and also because I had to deal with my foot injury and trying to groove back into sailing with that leg that wasn't functioning so well. Well, but I did put together a little photo slideshow just to give you an idea of what the trip was like. We all met up in Bahia Caracas in Ecuador and you know how much I love to put my crew through some very challenging first jobs when they arrived. So we let Carl dry fall and we're all rolling around in the mud trying to scrape off all the barnacles from Carl's belly. Due to the tides, we left Bahia Caracas at night to do a short 12 nautical miles jump to Cabo Passado, where we spent a slightly rolly 48 hours at anchor, making sure everything and everyone was ready to go. Well shaken through, but in kid spirit, we picked up anchor in Cabo Passado to head up north crossing the magic line on our way up to Tumaco.
cleared into Colombia and Tumaco and once the paperwork was done, we enjoyed some street food and beach time. Next up was Isla Guagona, a beautiful island off the Pacific coast of Colombia that is home to a number of extremely poisonous snakes. To Playa Chicaron, we caught a tasty mai mai that we shared with the Joana crew in the calm river mouth anchorage just north of Buenaventura. Another overnight brought us to the picturesque anchorage in Utria, where we spent over a week exploring the pretty surroundings. Next up was a quick jump to Bahia Solano, where we stocked up with food, water and diesel and cleared out of Colombia. Guayabo Chiquita and Piñas were our first stops in Panama where we found rough wild beaches, a fancy fishing resort and some friendly and better people selling artesanía. Our last leg to the Las Perlas Islands was so chilly that we all had to take out woolen hats and socks. Man, those spoiled tropical sailors, huh? We made it to Las Perlas just when the crazy pandemic started and we cleared in to Panama and David took one of the last flights leaving Panama before the airport shut down. And since then we've been staying in the Perlas here. We decided to wait everything out here until things open up and get a little bit friendly out there in the world again. Since then we've been three boats, Maria and her dad Harold on Joanna, and then there's Paul with his dog Luca on Yerba Buena, and there's me, myself and I on Good Old Carl. The injury of my foot has been nearly a year ago now, and I can run, I can jump, I can swim, I can walk, uh, but the foot is still not back to its normal flexibility, it's about a third of the flexibility of the good foot. So there's still quite a bit of work to do. I have to do my exercises, which is sometimes not so easy living on a sailboat and only having short access here to the islands. But we're allowed to move around the islands and we're doing pretty okay and making the best out of this extra corona time. But more about that. Take me high 